Welcome back to the channel guys. So as promised, I am going to be doing a video walkthrough on how to actually unlock Biv's daily quest. So let's get started and go ahead and find out what we need to do. So you will need to complete the quest, waste it on Nuka Shine. So the first place you're going to want to go is to Morgantown train station. And you'll need to read the poster that is in the train station that is advertising a party. After you read the poster, it should show up under side quest miscellaneous and should say attend party. If for some reason it doesn't actually show up under side quests, then you may have to place a terminal in your camp and clear out the task even though they may be unrelated to the actual quest. When you start to look at the actual objective to attend the party, you'll see that it actually takes place near vault Tech University. At that point, you'll actually go up there and discover Fraternity Row. Upon entering the frat house, you will see as a skeleton with a note next to it. When you read it, it tells you that Pi Kappa Mu is being evicted off campus by the university. As you enter, you will see numerous empty kegs and cups everywhere and dead partygoers. Feel free to loot this area as it is full of some really unique items that people love to buy or you could keep and display yourself. There's magazines in there and there's chance of a rare baseball bat, so just loot away. Let's get back to it though. In the basement in the laundry room, you will find two dead bodies, both handcuffed to a pipe with a hacksaw, kind of looking like a saw situation. On the floor, you'll notice a holotape that's called Final Initiation. You'll need to give that a listen. After listening, you discover that all the partygoers, except for this one pledge, died from drinking an alcoholic beverage. As you journey upstairs, there are even more dead partygoers. On the top floor, you'll notice that one of the doors is actually shut. You'll need to actually enter that room, and there should be a bottle of Nuka Shine sitting right next to a terminal or PC. Of course, you'll need to pick that bottle of Nuka Shine up. But before you drink it, you might want to go ahead and go through Ted's terminal. As you rifle through Ted's computer, you discover that they're having an eviction party, and Nuka Shine is the key to the actual party. Upon further investigation, you also discover that the frat that Lewis is from has opened up a speakeasy, and they sell moonshine with Nuka Cola in it. Once you're done snooping around in Ted's terminal, you can actually drink that Nuka Shine. If you've not drinking one, you're in for a treat. If you have previously drinking Nuka Shine, then you know the surprise to expect, except it's a little different this time. So everything go blue, purple like it normally does, and then you'll have to start killing off all the party crashers. They will continue to spawn in randomly, so you just need to keep on doing that until you disappear. Of course, you black out, and you'll come to at some unknown location, as you always do with Nuka Shine. But make sure you're not in harm's way, and then you'll need to actually go into your inventory, find the label from the Nuka Shine that you just drank, and read it. Upon reading it, you'll notice that it's riddle saying, near the university, there's a tattoo parlor. You need to come to the back door so you can drink. Obviously, this is that hidden speakeasy. Fast travel from whatever location you blacked out to, to Big Al's Tattoo Parlor, located next to Frat Row. Once inside, you can choose to do one of two things. You can either go to the right and go ahead and start rifling through the terminal that's upstairs, where you'll find out a little bit more information, or you can skip this because I'm actually going to walk you through it anyway. Spoilers ahead. Once you actually spawn inside, you should notice that there's a Nuka Cola machine right across from you. It's actually a fake door that looks like a Nuka Cola machine. If you actually go through that PC upstairs, it actually mentions the fact that it's a hidden door and that the guy's being paid under the table by the frat. Look down on the ground in front of the Nuka Cola machine and you will see a Nuka Shine mat. Go through that door and once downstairs, feel free to loot away as, as usual. You'll see the speakeasy is named the Nuka Shine. By this point, you've probably heard the ramblings of some type of drunk robot. Continue in through the back room of the Nuka Shine, and you will find Biv. He's the alcohol testing robot. Lewis actually got this robot from his mom, you'll find out later. Biv needs you to actually make Nuka Shine so he can do his job. Of course, in order to give Biv this Nuka Shine, you need to make it. He only has part of the actual recipe because, unfortunately for us, he's lost the other half. And that other half happens to be behind a locked door. The next step will actually lead you to a terminal that's right there in the same room as Biv. You'll actually investigate this terminal and you'll find out that, of course, you need a password for that locked door. The pit boy will then go ahead and send you back to Fraternity Row. This time you'll be visiting a different frat house. You'll actually visit Lewis's frat 
Etta Sai. This frat house actually has a blue door, so it's kind of easy to spot. After entering through the actual door, you'll notice that there's a lot of stills and a lot of very helpful robots. Feel free to chat with these robots as they'll give you a little bit more insight and talk about Nuka Shine. Make your way through the house and you'll find yet another shut door labeled employees only. Right beside the door frame, you'll notice a penned note. It is addressed to Lewis from Judy, the chapter president, who is explaining Lewis has went off the deep end and no one can find him. Open the door and enter Lewis's room or his amazing Nuka-Cola sanctuary. Again, feel free to loot this whole house. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. On the dresser in his room, you'll find another holotape that you'll need to listen to. After listening to the holotape, you'll realize that Lewis just basically wants to start a business so he can make more money for his growing Nuka-Cola collection. Gotta support that habit. Make your way through the rest of the house and upstairs you will find Judy's room and access to her terminal. After snooping through Judy's computer, you will discover a bunch of things. Like how she discovered Biv, his origins, also that she feels like she's losing control of the frat, and, of course, the password, SHINE, as she's concerned about some of the ingredients that are in the actual Nuka Shine. Because of her concern, she has locked it away. At this point, you can actually head back to the speakeasy and enter the password. Through the door, you'll find lots of radiation, so be prepared for that. You will also find a note that is the other half of the recipe. It will tell you the last ingredient is nuclear material. Some of the nuclear material can actually be found in that room. You can pick it up there. Most of the time, you're not going to have all the ingredients you need to actually make the Nuka Shine. So at this point, you will either have to travel back to your camp to get into your stash box so that way you can actually grab the materials you need, or you'll actually follow the map in the little yellow circle so that way you can find the materials needed to complete the recipe. After you've gathered all the ingredients for the recipe, head back to the speakeasy. At this point, you can actually craft Nuka Shine at the brewing station. You have crafted a fermentable Nuka Shine, which means you either need to use a fermenter to finish the process or wait a longer time period for the beverage to ferment on its own. However, at this moment, there's an actual third option as both the other ways takes time and you probably want this mission over with so you can just get through that daily quest. Look around and you'll see another diamond that's pointing you to a bunch of looking pots and pans. On the table to which it sits, there will be another pinned note. The note is basically explaining that the equipment is experimental and it is a flash fermenter so you can use it to speed up the process. Bing, bang, boom, little explosion, little fireworks. Now you have Nuka Shine and you can give it to Biv. Biv, of course, will do his report for you as that is his job. And he'll go on to tell you that it's probably not a good idea for humans to drink it, even though they will love it. After this, he'll start telling you that he wants to see you again and hopes that you come back real soon because he has other tests for you to perform. At this point, you've actually completed the main quest so that way you can actually start the Biv side quest or daily side quest every day. I hope that you've enjoyed this. You'll also notice that you have received the fermenter and the brewing station for your camp for completing the quest. You guys have a great time out in the wasteland. Collect all those alcoholic beverage recipes and don't black out. Hopefully I'll see you around the wasteland real soon.